quite apart from the long overdue Oscar nomination uh, to Brendan Fraser, there's also an Oscar nomination to a fly on the wall documentary uh, about Alexei Navalny. Oh, babe, be quiet. Come on, stop it. Stop it. And um, Alexei Navalny, as we know, was jailed in 2022 um, after um, an attempt by the Kremlin to poison him with some sort of radioactive substance. The film is directed by Daniel Rohr, and it shows Navalny recuperating in Berlin from the poisoning, um, probably by Novichok, the same nerve agent which was used in the poisonings in um, Salisbury. And uh, it, it, it details his preparation to return to Russia, uh, where he flew back to Russia on in January 2021, I think, was immediately arrested for violating his parole um, and jailed. It combines original interviews with Navalny, with his wife Yulia, with his daughter Daria, and with close aides. And it's a sort of journalistic scoop. Um, Christo Grozev um, manages, I think, to get closer to who Navalny is. Um, and uh, probably um, the most dramatic bit is when Navalny pretends to be an official and calls Konstantin uh, Kudryastev um, one of his um, attempted assassins. Um, during the call, the hitman admits to lacing Navalny's underwear with Novichok and outlines how his team had planned the attempted murder um, many times. Uh, it's an extraordinary scene, and um, it, it demands to be watched. I think this is definitely Oscar material, um, but it is significant material too. Um, it's not just the material of an award-winning film. It's the material of um, legal testimony, which is denied and ignored in Russia. Um, and because of this legal testimony being ignored, there is a man in prison being treated appallingly and being constantly put in a penal cell uh, in, in, in solitary confinement, made to stand all day when he is ill. Um, it's, uh, this nomination, I think, is as much a part of the um, war response to President Putin as any other. Uh, Navalny is up against four other films for best documentary feature film. Um, but, you know, a, a, a house made of splinters, haul out, um, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure of the others, but uh, the Oscar winners will be announced on March the 12th. So congratulations to the people who are making Navalny. <laughs>